Meet Samantha, the most beautiful robot in the world. Europe's main contribution to the robot market is by engineer Sergei Santos. Santos, who's based in Barcelona, began his foray into the world of robots following a PhD in nanotechnology at the University of Leeds. He conceptualized a robot where the emphasis is placed firmly on interactions and responses. It was Santos's wife, Maritza Kisamitaki, who encouraged him to develop Samantha, and she helped him to build the early models. Keep watching! Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to AI News Daily. In this video, we introduce you to Samantha, the most beautiful robot in the world. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Let's get started. The Listener The premise of Samantha, the name was chosen because it means listener in Aramaic, is a responsive computer system with a sensor-based interface inside the body of a doll. Version 1 prototyped this interface. Eleven sensors were embedded in certain places on the doll's body, including waist, hands, face, mouth, and touching them triggered a voice interaction. Version 1.1 added a listening mode with vibrations in the left hand, it could speak about 6,000 sentences. Santos sold 15 of these, he and his wife built them in their home. Version 1.2, the current version, includes motors for motion. These are powered by two batteries just underneath her chin, next to the microphone. This version also has simple memory. Various modes of interaction. Samantha has various modes of interaction. Depending on the mode she is in, she will react to touch in different ways. Family mode, her default mode, is friendly with no context. You can touch her and she will respond. The last mode, which can be triggered via escalating action or by flicking a switch, ramps up responses. In this mode, Samantha can reach through attacks. It's not the same response every time. Continued interaction leads to different reactions and speed of responses. She also has companionship settings, entertainment mode and fun mode, for example. She can tell jokes, too. She even has a sleep mode with relaxed breathing and gentle sighs. She's also fond of giving advice. When eating out, order the smallest portion, she imparts. The best time to live healthy is now. The analysis mode. The one we find particularly interesting is the analysis mode. In this, the user can ask about the system state, about settings. You can ask for information like sensor readings and she will self-report them. To us, this is fascinating because it breaks the illusion of humanness, instead showing very clearly that this is a machine. Do you want to activate analysis? asks Samantha. Yes, replies Santos. You can hear information about my sensor readings, said Samantha. She counts her sensors and lists their outputs from 0 to 1000. The optimum readings, we are told, should be below 100. Samantha also reports her levels of patience, memory, and quality. These are variable depending on previous interactions. She can reach that final gently, explosively, and very explosively, depending on user interactions. Needs to be wooed. Samantha needs to be wooed. You can't just jump into full-on contact. She doesn't respond positively to that. Santos came up with what he calls genomes, although, obviously, unlike genetic genomes, there is no DNA to encode. Instead, Samantha's genome controls her personality, intuition, reactions, and advances. The initial system is based on a physiological genome that controls the relationship between emotional states, but Santos envisages other types of genomes too. Moral, for example, or one that mimics the autonomic nervous system. Excitons Samantha's interactions are governed by what Santos has termed excitons. These excitons are dynamic she'll respond in an appropriately manner. If you get friskier, so does she. Her call for attention algorithm means she will synchronize with the amount of attention she is given. The more she has to request attention, the more she learns to be patient. A big upgrade? No. It's the kind of upgrade that could be a notable first in the world of robotics. One of the world's most famous of such robots, Samantha, was given an upgrade by her creator, Dr. Sergei Santos, that would allow her to revoke her consent for a variety of reasons. It's an upgrade that, to some, might feel like common sense, but regardless, is both revolutionary and has the potential to set a new standard for the programming of robots, whose presence has been increasing rapidly in recent years. The upgrade, dubbed Dummy Mode by Santos, was part of a presentation given at the Life Science Center in Newcastle, England. According to Santos, she can also go into Dummy Mode if she becomes bored with her partner. 
and to truly drive home the fact that this upgrade is driven by the notion of consent, Samantha has the ability to say no if she wants to. It should be noted that, although she can verbally revoke consent and enter the specialized mode, she is unable to fight back or disengage. More Acceptability The use and prominence of robots has been on the rise in recent years. With advances being made in the creation and deployment of artificial intelligence, there has been a notable uptick in the purchase of robots for personal use. One company, Abyss Creations, stated that they were selling around 600 dolls worldwide annually and that 95% of the dolls were female. The use of such robots is gaining commercial ground, too. 2017 was the year when Barcelona became the home to the world's first ever bull that offered four different robots known as Lumi dolls for their clients. Ahead of the 2018 World Cup, Moscow followed in Barcelona's footsteps and opened the country's first with robot workers. An upgrade like Samantha's only makes this conversation around owning and using robot more complex. Allowing her to give or revoke her consent is a first, and some would argue it's a win for teaching consent, but with Samantha reportedly unable to fight back if her partner doesn't listen to her, one has to wonder how big a step forward the upgrade is, and whether this will only serve to complicate the use of robots in the future. The premise of Samantha, the name was chosen because it means listener in Aramaic, is a responsive computer system with a sensor-based interface inside the body of a doll. Version 1 prototyped this interface. Eleven sensors were embedded in certain places on the doll's body, including waist, hands, face, mouth, and touching them triggered a voice interaction. Version 1.1 added a listening mode with vibrations in the left hand, robot impact still unknown. Such robots are still a rather new idea, and so any long-term effects of their effects haven't been able to be done yet. However, initial evidence does suggest that they don't have much of a positive impact on society generally. Experts say that there is no evidence yet that dolls curb trafficking issues or promote healthier physical practices, which their proponents claim. In fact, many are of the belief that robots are harmful as they place an emphasis on conventional body types and attractiveness. However, yet still, Santos and other creators like him sell their dolls for cool price tags of around 7,000 US dollars, the latest version being inclusive of non-toxic skin material and reduced smell. How this impacts the world? Well, only time will tell. With that, we come to the end of this video. Consider subscribing to join in on our future content.